Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. <laughs> and uh, the LeBron 19 low has been leaked. Let's get right into it, right? So the LeBron 19 low. Of course, LeBron always has a low shoe. And uh, I believe that's because you know, he just likes to have a low top. But a, lo a lot of his shoes sometimes are low tops. You know what I mean? Which is pretty funny, you know? The Le LeBron 18 was pretty much a low top. I mean, I guess this kind of comes up on the angle a little bit. But pretty much it's a low top. And then of course we had the LeBron 18 low. This is the Atmos colorway. Shout out to Optimax Prime for this as always. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so of course the LeBron 19 low has been leaked and boom, right here. So I've been looking at the comments. I, I feel like a lot of people do like how it looks, but in my opinion, I feel like it looks all right. You know, so uh, let's start it off with the Tractiones, right? The traction is pretty much the same. You know, uh, the traction pattern here in the forefoot, we got the nubs and the LeBron 19 traction was pretty bad. Uh, the bite just wasn't great and it would slide, it would slide around a good amount, especially on dust a little bit, you know, and it just never was a good bite. So um, hopefully, I mean, the only reason why the LeBron 19 low would have better traction than the LeBron 19 is if it used a different rubber compound and maybe it does. So hopefully they change it up and maybe they, might just because i mean it's not it, it looks a little bit different as you guys can see here it says nike react kind of like in the forefoot we still have this like line here and of course it did remind me a lot of the curry six which of course did have durability issues just because when you did a hard lateral movement uh, the rubber would peel off and happen to a lot of us um, but I didn't really have any issues with the LeBron 19. And so I don't think there's going to be any issues with the LeBron 19 low. Uh, we have this midfoot shank plate in the LeBron 19. And the LeBron 19 low, it's a little bit different, but it still looks like a plastic piece. Or maybe, is it? Is it plastic? No, it looks like it's just the foam. If you guys look at the lateral side, uh, that's probably just Nike React because it says Nike React in the forefoot. It doesn't look like it's plastic. It just looks like the foam. But what is that like cross looking piece? That looks like it's plastic a little bit there. But anyways, in the heel, uh, it looks pretty much the same as well. You know, we have the little nubs and then we have this kind of like oval shape with LeBron James's logo. So uh, the traction, I am worried. You know, hopefully the LeBron 19 low has a different rubber compound and bites well, uh, but I have my doubts, right? So as far as the pricing goes, the LeBron 19 is 200 bucks and same thing with the LeBron 18. The LeBron 18 was 200 bucks as well. The LeBron 18 low, however, was 160 bucks, $40 cheaper. So I'm guessing the LeBron 19 low is gonna do the same. So it's probably gonna be around 160 bucks. Uh, and same thing with LeBron 18. As far as the traction goes, they kept it pretty much the same. You know, as you guys can see, the pattern is very, very similar. It's just, it has a few subtle differences, right? Here in the middle of the outsole, it's a little bit different, but the overall kind of like pattern is very, very, it's pretty much the same. So that's what they usually do in the LeBron kind of signature series. And then going to the lows, they change it up a little bit for the outsole, the cushioning. Also, they, they always pretty much have a, an Air Max unit. And uh, of course, uh, the LeBron 19 signature line has had Air Max units. So uh, yeah, moving on to the cushioning setup. So as far as the Air Max unit goes here in the heel, it looks pretty much the same. And the Air Max unit, it's a dual chambered unit here in the heel. It's probably gonna have a crazy amount of compression. I don't have any doubts on that. And uh, as far as the court feel goes, I hope the court feel is a little bit better, um, but I, I don't see why it would be, right? And also the React looks very, very thin, you know, uh, especially in the heel, it's probably not gonna, you're probably not gonna feel the React all too much just because you, know, you have the Air Max unit anyway. Uh, in the forefoot though, I don't know, we'll have to see on that, you know? Um, I mean, they are using Kushlon here in the LeBron 19 and they switched it up to React in the LeBron 19 low. And uh, I mean, the LeBron 18 low had React as well, and it was very, very nice. I really like the feeling. So hopefully it feels very similar to the LeBron. Actually, it's a very similar setup, you know, as far as the tech goes, you know, you got the Air Max unit in the heel and the React foam in the forefoot. And that's pretty much the same exact kind of tech setup as the LeBron 18 low. So as far as the upper go, so here in the forefoot, we have a leather material. Right, as you guys can see, the quality of the material looks pretty nice as well. And then in the midfoot area, it looks to be like a kind of like a textile material. And then in the ankle area from the top view, we can see some nice thick Achilles pillows, which I like. We also have a very high heel tap, so uh, I like that as well. You know, just 
making the shoe easier to put on is a nice plus for me, you know? Uh, LeBron 18 though kind of didn't have that. And then uh, for the insole, you know, there are some holes in the insole. It looks, it's actually the exact same as the regular LeBron 19, you know? It looks to have a crash pad in the heel. And I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty much the same as well. We can see LeBron James' logo on the tongue. We got some flat laces as well. And for the padding, uh, like on the sides of the ankle, it looks pretty minimal. You know, the only type of like thick padding in the ankle area just looks like the Achilles pillows. I mean, there's just a little bit of padding on these on the sides, right? And then on the outside of the ankle area, we can see another nice leather material. And there also seems to be a pad both on the lateral and medial sides. Um, that probably isn't gonna do anything, you know, cause it's on the outside of the shoe, but they did add that there. As for lateral containment, uh, it seems like, you know, the LeBron 19 did a very good job just because remember here in the LeBron 18, there was no lateral counters, right? I mean, the uh, material is super supportive, but it kind of like, it rolls over on itself just a tiny bit. And also it's a very narrow shoe, as you guys can see, like, look at that. LeBron 19 versus LeBron 18. Here in the forefoot, look at how much wider it is. Also here in the heel, look at that. <laughs> which is insane. So the LeBron 19 had very good lateral stability and also very good lateral containment just because of the lateral counters that they added. And uh, the LeBron 19 low looks to keep that as well. Here in the forefoot, of course, the leather material is probably gonna be uh, very supportive, but also we can see like, uh, I'm guessing this is plastic. It's acting as a lateral counter in the forefoot and it kind of comes up even more than the React midsole. And then the heel, we can see the React midsole coming up as a sidewall, and there probably is an internal TPU heel counter. On the midsole, we can see a Nike swoosh, which eh, I guess, I don't know. I don't really like that. I wish they would just put the swoosh on like this, like this guys, just, I just want it like this. <laughs> just give me that. Um, but anyways, we can see that. And also the midsole has kind of like that React pattern on it as well. You know, when Nike uses React, they put this pattern in most of their midsoles. And also another thing that I noticed from the top view, the outsole does seem to protrude out a good amount, just like the LeBron 19 for lateral stability. So uh, just one thing though, please make the shoe lighter than the LeBron 19. Like as far as the weight goes, actually I wanna compare the 18 and the 18 low. So the 18 was like pretty heavy, like 15 ounces, I think 14, 15? 15.4 ounces. Let's check the LeBron 18 low. 15.24 ounces. I mean, this is like leather material, so I'm guessing uh, this is a little bit heavier. Uh, the other LeBron 18 low was actually a good amount lighter than the LeBron 18, if I remember correctly. The LeBron 19, on the other hand, is like 18 ounces. Yeah, 18.02 ounces. So hopefully the LeBron 19 low is lighter than the LeBron 19, but I have my doubts on that just because, you know, they're using a leather material. And uh, to be honest, the LeBron 19 material, I don't think it adds all too much weight to the shoe. I I'm guessing most of the weight is coming from all of this freaking plastic and rubber underneath the shoe just because of the cushioning system. And they're using pretty much the same exact stuff. I mean, of course, we don't have that four foot zoom unit. So maybe it'll be lighter because of that. Maybe just a tiny bit, just because if you look at the LeBron 19 also here, this is plastic, right? This is plastic here and it's pretty stiff. And the LeBron 19 low, now that I look at it pretty close, uh, there is no plastic, it's just, it's the React in the forefoot, right? Uh, and so I'm guessing maybe uh, the LeBron 19 might be a little bit more flexible for the sole as well here in the forefoot. Just because in the LeBron 19, uh, the plastic kind of like throughout the entire sole makes the shoe super stiff. So maybe the LeBron 19 low will be a little bit more flexible in the forefoot, which I would like, you know, that'd be a little bit better. But I don't know, maybe it might be like around 15, 16 ounces, still pretty damn heavy. I mean, lighter than LeBron 19 is like, still freaking heavy as hell, <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause 18 ounces is ridiculous. And then my thoughts on the aesthetics. Um, I do like the colorway though, like the red outsole and the red accents on the upper, the overall upper and the React is black, the swoosh is white, and then we have that leather material. It's kind of like a shroud. And then we have that white leather material in the forefoot, which kind of gives it a very nice contrasty look. I do like the colorway, but the overall silhouette, I don't know, I don't think I'm a huge fan of. I like the LeBron 18 low a little bit better. Uh, tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. And uh, the LeBron 19 low, I'm speculating, will be coming out soon. It usually comes out during like spring, early summer-ish, so maybe a couple of months, probably around April or May. But anyways, that about wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.